Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifar, and welcome to a quick rundown of the Saber Raven, the latest stealth offerings from Aegis. This has really been interesting to research for several reasons. We just got a new ship statistics matrix, meaning that it's actually more feasible to directly compare ships. There may be a few things that are still in error, but it's a massive step in the right direction. The Raven is offered exclusively as part of a promo. That video is linked up for you right now. I'm going to start out by quickly talking about two other ships before talking about the Raven. The Aegis Avenger Warlock is a relatively inexpensive ship, which up until recently was the only ship offering EMP game mechanics. Charging up the EMP and then releasing it would disable ships within its very small envelope of effect. In theory and in practice, the skillful pilot could risk it all, becoming the true force multiplier for the follow-on attack. If successful, the defensive turrets, shields, and other systems would be compromised, opening up a weakness to be exploited with a surgical knockout blow. This type of planned choreographed operation is exactly the type of gameplay that I want to practice and perfect as part of my orc. The next ship is the Aegis Eclipse. It's the perfect follow-up ship to the Warlock attack as part of my last example. Being a stealth torpedo bomber, its yield might do very little against a shield. However, disabling the shields and point defense systems first and then you land a clean hit with full effect. So this pairing of an EMP ship with a stealth bomber would seem so natural. The Raven like the Warlock is primarily an EMP ship, but because it offers a low signature, it's even better suited to work with the Eclipse. The ultimate stealth shake and bake assault. The Raven is built off the Saber as part of a phase two ship design. The intakes, tail configuration, wing geometry, and even the way the canopies hinged are all dissimilar. It's slightly smaller, quite a bit lighter, and slightly less agile than the Sabre. Simply calling this ship the Raven might have been a lot less confusing. Looking beyond that, is it a good fighter? If you compare it to a Sabre, I don't see it ever winning unless you can get close and disable it. It has half the weapon's complement, and it appears that by default, the missile bay is occupied by the EMP generator. The stats page leads me to believe that the EMP generator mounts up to a standard size 4 pylon, which opens up some interesting options. The Raven also lists a pair of advanced avionics computers, which have led some to assume that it could operate as a data runner. Another possibility is that that redundancy would allow it to recover quicker from its own EMP burst. So if it's not a very good fighter, then it must be a disruptor. The Raven seems to fill that role perfectly, becoming the Warlock's bigger brother. When you consider its improved sensors and tracking, it builds upon the Warlock's punch to operate more like a spy. Here's the most likely scenario that I can anticipate where the Raven is designed for. Let's say that you wanted to take out a Polaris. The Stealth Raven assesses the situation, gets close, disabling it for the Stealth Eclipse. Ravens could team up with Sabres who would run interference and provide cover. As the EMPs charge up, the pilots could call out the countdown, giving the Sabres the time to clear, and the Eclipse is the cue to start their torpedo run. Even if the Polaris detects the threat, it'll probably be too late. Two Eclipses release six size 9 torpedoes, hitting critical systems, leaving the Polaris in really bad shape. There might be nothing stopping the Ravens from taking turns, charging and blasting the Polaris to keep it disabled. If we get a q and I'll break down the Raven for you in the future, but for right now, this limited ship offers very limited gameplay. To me, just like the Eclipse, the Raven makes no sense unless you really plan to work together. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. I really appreciate your support as this channel nears 30,000 subscribers. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.